What's happening guys, Chris VA Travels. I'm out here in Brunswick County and I'm visiting Fort Christana, a fort built back in 1714 on what was at the time the Virginia frontier. So yeah, Fort uh, set up uh, here, uh, they had set up an Indian school, uh, a trading post, and also just a defensive uh, uh, fort just against any Indian attacks, anything like that. And yeah, Governor Spotswood built this at the same time he had built Fort Germana up in Orange. And uh, unlike Fort Germana, uh, this was, they had set up iron furnaces up at Fort Germana, but it looks like this was mainly just kind of a trading post. Yeah, the, uh, all this was established in 1924 by the National Society of the Colonial Dames of America in the Commonwealth of Virginia. <laughs> All right, so, and yeah, this uh, marker is a replacement. The uh, first one they set up in 1924, it had a bunch of arrows sticking out of it and the uh, it was vandalized, the arrows were stolen. So this was built in, the, this was put up in the 60s as a, a replacement. And yeah, initially uh, 1924, they just had three and three quarter acres of land, but they did some excavations in the 70s and found out the true parameters of the fort. So they went ahead and uh, purchased another 22.25 acres so that lead to the Meharan uh, River. So yeah, each of these are about 100 yards. So to give you an idea of the, of the size. So yeah, there we are. And all right, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna walk around this thing. And yeah, yeah, just to give you an idea, this is kind of in the middle of nowhere. If you if you want to visit, um, it's about eight miles off the interstate and about a mile down this uh, dirt road to get here. So yeah, and uh, anyway, so each uh, each of these little kind of tri uh, squares, these wooden squares, is to represent where the uh, the bastions were, the uh, the five corners of the uh the pentagon fort and yeah just more of these donated uh, the garden club yeah fort christana and a little plaque over there i'll go uh film that real quick just so you, you can pause and, and read fort christana historical site and yeah there's the canyon the monument we just looked at and they had a big ceremony at the uh, dedication and Ada McRae, we looked at one of the McRae blocks over there. Uh, she, like I say, a descendant of Governor Alexander Spotswood. Uh, they had a big ceremony with some Paul Monkey Indians. And here we are, Brunswick County. And yeah, I did some ex excavations. And yeah, like I say, yeah, you can go ahead and uh, pause and read. Okay, several more plaques over here. And yeah, beautiful fall day. Lots of uh, yellows, reds, oranges, browns. Uh, yeah, Governor Alexander Spotswood, like I say, he was Lieutenant Governor, and which means he was the acting governor. He was the one that was here uh, in, in Virginia, kind of holding things down. And yeah, he, he had a pretty interesting life. He was born over in Tangier, Morocco, uh, Scottish ancestry. And he's the one that had the uh, Governor's Palace built in Williamsburg. Yeah, and uh, of course I had said he uh, set up that Fort Germana up there in Orange. And it looks like he had a house built about half a mile east of here. There's a glass insert uh, from a cufflink um, that was found on the site of his house. But I, I knew his main residence was up there in Orange. He had built it on top of Fort Germana after he disbanded. And it was called the Enchanted Castle. <laughs> he didn't name it, that was named by William Byrd. And, okay, just talking about rules and regulations, no hunting, no fishing, all that kind of stuff. And just had the 300th anniversary back in 2014. Okay, so here's what it would have, uh, yeah, more of these uh, just donors and uh, uh, development committee. Okay, so you got a map over here. You see these five bastions and each had a 1,400 pound cannon. 
and there were no settlers out here just 12 rangers you'll see barracks uh, dining area captain's quarters you'll see that indian school your gardens a uh, horse corral and yeah that's it of course you've got your palisade uh surrounding wall and over here i was like looking at these uh, old maps and here we are and pretty interesting florida never seen that and then yeah while well, they're digging they found a wine bottle a jew harp and yeah this fort only lasted uh, about four or five years uh, before it, lo it lost its funding <laughs> but it just talks about how it was a bustling place every day they were tra trading with the indians trading pelts uh there was school going on uh rangers were going on patrol so really bustling area and it talks about uh, partly the fort was built for the protection of the Sapani Indians, which was a collection of several tribes. Um, they had been pu pushed out west. They were being harassed by more aggressive tribes. And of course, uh, disease was taking its, uh, taking its toll. And over here, I uh, talk about the Indian village, the Junka Tapers, meaning horsehead was down along the river they think at a bend okay down here almost kind of looks like a dance circle except you would have had taller like totem poles or, or pillars um fort christana learning center a gift from the brunswick garden club a teaching space okay yeah, so it looks like uh, maybe just classes uh, come out here. Teacher just a uh, place for the kids to sit down and listen to the teacher. But yeah, pretty neat. Yeah, we're walking along the walls of the uh, of the fort along the parameter. And I'm just gonna walk over here. Yeah, I bet this I see vents down there. So this is probably a bathroom. Yeah, kind of vent up here. Uh, uh, there's a bunch of flies and stuff in there. Well, luckily it's cold out and it didn't smell. All right, so another donor fly. They must set these up at each one of the, uh, yeah, okay, I see ground. So yeah, they set these up. These are another bastion is right here, looks like. So pretty decent size, yeah, okay walk down i can see the outline of that uh the square down there um i hope it was a little bit more flat <laughs> at the time and i'm wondering if they have a trail breaking off going down to the river i can see a break in the trees so it's probably just a couple hundred yards back there shout out to another youtuber uh called historic forest that's forest with two r's uh he did a video on this place he gave me gave me the idea to uh to stop and check it out all right so yeah i was thinking there might be some plaques uh, giving some more information back here but yeah just another outline of they had a big old 1400 pound cannon sitting right here Yeah, Brunswick Museum and Historical Society. Okay, so yeah, we're going full circle. This should be the uh, the last one then. You see bumps in the ground, almost like they're Civil War trenches. I, I know they're not, but maybe it's excess dirt from when they were, the archaeologists were uh, out here doing their digging. Okay, so yeah, we wrapped around right where we started. So cool.
All right, that's Fort Christana. I want to show this place off for anybody who uh, can't make it out here. And as always, like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram and support me on Patreon. See ya.